hi guys welcome to cognitive hub talent tutorials in this video i am going to explain about how to export a job in talent studio and in the coming lectures i am also going to show you about how to build a job to run it in from your windows or uh, in other operating systems but uh, what is the main difference between exporting and building means exporting is nothing but it will only run inside the talent studio it won't run outside the talent studio but building a job means it will run outside the talent in, in outside the talent studio also and it can run in any platform based on the like uh, building that you are specifying suppose if you have specified uh, in windows then it will only run in windows if you have specified in linux then it will only run in linux so that is all uh, like uh, how to build and all we are going to discuss in the later which lectures in this video i am going to show you how to export a job to run in a uh, talent studio so without wasting any time let's dive into the topic here uh, this is the job that i have previously used to illustrate the t sample row so what i am doing is i am saving it and i am going to the repository panel here and i am finding this the like transformation component so whenever you are going to do export then it should be like a log free because log free is nothing but a suppose if this uh, file is opened in your designer tab then it will represent some log symbol in the icon uh, for the product uh, for the job name so what i am doing is i am just closing it so it will automatically remove the log symbol now what i am doing is i am clicking on this uh, component where i want to ex uh, what i want to export i am right clicking on that component so we have a job like export I we have a option like export items so click on it so it will ask for some options like we have to select select archive file and we need to specify the path here where you want to store that data type where you want to store that zip file like exported job so what i am mentioning is i am mentioning the talent the path here i am mentioning it as a transformation underscore component this is the name i want and i am saving it so it's showing uh, some path here and i want to export the dependencies suppose if that particular file is having some dependencies to other file then i am also going to export that dependencies also because whenever i am importing that file and using then it will if without dependencies it might show some errors so if i export these dependencies also whenever some other person is importing that particular zip file then they won't get any errors uh, if i export this dependencies also so what i am doing is i am clicking the exporting dependencies also even though i have not used any dependencies here but just for the safety reasons i am exporting these dependencies and i am clicking sorry we need to select here whatever the job that we want to do we it is already in selected mode so if you can also select multiple files here suppose if i want to select this these two files i want to export then you can also do the uh, exporting these two files you can also export every file here suppose if you want to export this file along with metadata then you can also do that but i don't want to export this all i only export i only want to export this transformation component only so once it is done then i am clicking ok here like finish here now it is done now what i am doing is i am going to my path here i am seeing whether it is uh, there or not yeah it is there it is uh, naming it as transformation underscore component so whenever you want to use it you can unzip it and uh, use it like uh, you can directly import uh, into the talent studio i am also going to show you how to import that first of all i am extracting here so it is extracted suppose uh, what i want is i want to export this file import this file now what i want to do is sorry now what i am going to do is 
I am going to this and clicking this import uh, item here we need to select archive file and browsing to this file where I have this one I am clicking ok one second I need to go previously So you need to specify directly that uh, entire job. So whenever I click OK here, okay, it is showing that the transformation underscore component is already exists here. So what I am doing is I am just change, I am clicking cancel for now, and I am deleting this transformation underscore component. So it is deleted. Now I am doing importing by clicking the import button, and I am selecting the archive file. Now I need to select the zip file and clicking open and I am selecting this. Now it is also showing this one. Okay, the recycle bin in the it is also there in the recycle bin. So I have to change I have to remove that. So recycle bin is there. I need to remove this one too. I have to delete this forever. Now it is done. Now let us see whether it is going to import it or not. Will import or not? I am selecting this archive file. I am clicking the zip component zip here. Now yeah, it is done. I am selecting all the components like all the files. I am clicking finish. Now it is automatically imported. It is automatically present in your local file. So this is how you can use this. Uh, this is how you can export and use that exported file and again importing in another talent studio and you can use that particular component again so all the configurations are there because we have added exported dependencies also whatever the like configurations that you have while you are exporting that is the configurations uh, present in this component so this is how you can do export and import in talent studio so that's all for this video guys thank you for watching